Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My nose is glowing today. So, today we are here to do my January favourites. And yes, I'm in stitch again because I'm just loving him so much. So today I am here and I've got 10 items to share with you that I have loved throughout January. And I'm going to jump straight in. We're not even going to go there, we're just going to go for it. This is my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. It looks like this. I love this stuff. I don't use this every day. I do know some people use setting spray every day. I wish I could afford to use it every day, but I can't. So unfortunately, I use it, but I use it for like those main days that I really need it. Like, so the days that when my makeup looks mint, or the days that I've not got a runny nose, so I don't have to keep like wiping, so I lose quite a bit of makeup from there. Those sorts of days. Oh my God. I just love it. And it looks as good as it did when you first put the thing on. The second two things I've been loving is eye creams. So I have been using this Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream. It is just, it came out of a birch box. It looks a little something, something like this. And I absolutely love it. I don't own many eye creams, but I really like this one. And it is very, very moisturising. And plus, I think if you pick it up every day, you should be in a favourite. The next one, I've mentioned this before. This is a Polar Icy Magic. Now, this stuff, can I just rave about it? I'm gonna rave. So if you have a moment and you cry, your eyes go puffy, your eyes go bloodshot and red. It doesn't do anything for the bloodshot redness, but you like roll it onto your under eyes, you just massage it around a bit on the top, go through your eyelashes, leave it, and within minutes, your puffy eyes are gone. It is fantastic fantastic stuff like i just i love it i can't i love the stuff i need to go and buy some that's how much i love it i have two eyeliners today that i have been absolutely loving i've really been loving this rimmel london eyeliner it looks like this now i love this so much it's so easy to apply i love this type of eyeliner anyway and it's very black but what i love even more is to just attach this this is a maricella eyeliner now it's got these little teeny tiny silver flecks and just to add to it it doesn't add a lot i'm not gonna lie it's not like you sparkle it's just got that little bit of something kind of like in your if you've got it in your naked three palette from urban decay there's a black eyeshadow that's got little teeny tiny flecks of pink it's just something a little bit extra and i love that eyeliner it looks like this just in case you was wondering this also came out of a birch box there it is i don't know if that's picking up but there it is eyebrows i love my eyebrows okay it's took a long time for me to say that but i do love my eyebrows i love especially the mac dirty blonde fluid line brow gel cream i love this little teeny tiny pot of wonder it is waterproof it's amazing i mean it's not water, water, waterproof but if a bit of rain hits your brow it ain't gonna run down your face i love it it looks like this and i keep forgetting to put this in my favorites but at the end of the day i do believe if you are using it every day if you're using this every day it deserves to go into your favorites it's not gonna focus but this is it this tiny pot and i absolutely love it and i'm due a new pot because it's nearly empty I thought I'd add this into my favourites today. This is, I'm not gonna, this is the collection's sheer loose powder. I can't get it to focus. This is in the shade number one, barely there. And it's absolutely amazing for setting your makeup. You do get a bit of flashback from it, but it is absolutely amazing for setting your makeup. And the reason why I'm putting my favourites is because literally it's down to this. So naturally, I thought that deserved to go into my favourites because it's not my favourite powder, but it is one I reach for a lot, as you can tell, because it's nearly empty. So I just thought it deserved a mention in my favourites. The next item that I thought deserved a mention in my favourites is a lipstick. This is a very old Urban Decay lipstick, and it is in the shade Rush. And the reason why I thought it deserved a mention in my favourites is because this is all that's left and it's not a lipstick i use to get rid of like i use at work if i use a lipstick just to get rid of it because it's going empty and i took that lipstick in my handbag at work that's not a favorite lipstick that's a get rid lipstick that is a favorite lipstick i love the color and i am this tempted to actually just order me a new one for when that one runs out that's how much i love that color 
Like, most of my lips, when they start to run out, I just chuck them in my work bag and I use them every day until the gut. But I'm in love. <laughs> and I think I want it again. So I'm actually going to sit down tonight and have a look and see if I can maybe order it and if i can i'm definitely ordering it on payday so the next thing that i have been loving through january is this eyeshadow palette this is my Too faced chocolate bonbons eyeshadow palette it is an extremely loved eyeshadow palette i have got two hip pans and one complete empty so there's my empty heartbroken hip pan hip pan i love this my favourite colour at the minute is this one down here. It's not really one that you can kind of see on camera. But the main one that I've been loving recently is this bad boy. Okay, let me just show you this. This is absolutely gorgeous. I don't use it like that. I will literally put my eyeshadow on. And then just ever so gently put that on top. And it gives this gorgeous sheen. Absolutely freaking love it. There's a couple of good dinted ones in here actually as well, which is Sprinkles and Mocha Lasses Chip, which is those two. They are extremely low, but I just, and I don't understand. I've had this palette over a year and it still smells like chocolate. And the last thing that I have got that I need to share with the world is my Christmas highlighter from MAC. So this is what it looks like. It is stunning. Like seriously, it's stunning. It's got the snowflake inside and it is just the most beautiful highlighter. Like seriously good highlighter. It doesn't tend to pick up when I do it on my hand for some reason. I just, I, I love it. Wipe it down stitch. This one is called Happy Go Dazzling if you can get your hands on it. But I know it, it's probably extremely hard. So I do apologise for that. But if you got it, I love it. I love it. Oh, God, they make such good glasses. Don't ask where my brain goes because I'm not too sure. So I'd like to thank you so much for watching my January's favourites. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And I would love to know in the comments below what your favourite. Like, pick, like, your top two items that you've absolutely loved. Because... I need to go on a shopping spree. I'm, I'm not bored of my makeup because I've got way too much of it. But I just want to add to it now. I just want a little bit more. Not too much lipsticks because I've got a lot of lipsticks. But I want to go and get some more makeup. So I want some ideas basically. So if you've made it this far, please click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Click over in the top corner, check out one of my latest videos. And click over in the bottom corner to see a video that YouTube has selected for you. I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. Take care, I'll see you in a few days. And bye bye.